Hello and welcome to Kedrick Farms. We're back with another episode of the Clark Farms map by MRG Mapping. And uh, we've advanced time a little bit since we finished planting. Uh, we've got our two fields of soybeans and our field of corn here. Uh, and if we look at the map, things do seem to be growing. Um, they haven't quite germinated yet, so nothing's popping up. Uh, but we are into late spring now. And uh, the next thing that we wanted to do is get started on these cows. Um, you'll notice that we're at negative $2,000. Uh, and that is because each day that passes, we lose about $1,500 due to the uh, interest on our loans. And so we're definitely in a bit of a financial spot here. But we're going to need to start doing some grass work in order to... Uh, have hay to feed our cows and if we look at the weather here um, the weather says that it is a good drying potential or okay drying potential both today and in the afternoon tomorrow and then we're going to get three days of rain so if we want to make hay we need to get started on that now which means we're going to need to take out a loan um, and so I'm trying to Think about what equipment we want, and I did a little bit of research. I went and watched some of uh, the Clark Farms videos, and while I'm not uh, sure I'm going to pick up exactly uh, what he has, we've got some equipment that's pretty close, and we've got some equipment that's not too terribly expensive. Um, I really like this haybine. I've used this uh, in the past. I think we're going to pick that up. Uh, in fact, let me just go take out some more money uh, loans here from the bank and see if we can really get our interest rate cranked up. Um, I've got a few mo mods in mind. I'm going to take out a little bit more than we need just so that I can go shopping here, and then we're going to pay back anything that we don't use. Um, so like I was saying, I think we're going to get this haybine. This is a good mower, low horsepower requirements, and... Uh, it's going to fit well with our New Holland tractor here uh, for doing some light field work. And then uh, we're going to need something to rake that up into a windrow, um, I believe. I'm trying to think, actually. Um, with the way the haybine works, that's going to leave it in a windrow for us, isn't it? So I don't know that I actually need a rake at this point. So if I do need a rake, we have uh, this New Holland uh, 258. Uh, this is actually really similar to the uh, um, wind rower rake that uh, Clark Farms uses. Um, but we're going to hold off on that for a minute because I think the haybine is going to help us out. And then we have in our baling technology, um, I've picked up this class roto cut. This is not exactly um, like what he's using, but it's very similar. He's got a class uh, round baler. And so we're going to go ahead and use this, I think. And so if we go ahead and purchase those two pieces of equipment, um, that's going to let us send a bit of this money back. And we'll kind of see how things go from here. Um, the first thing that we're going to do is go grab uh, this mower, and we're going to actually get started on doing some mowing, I think. We're going to just drop our front loader off right here, because we won't need that out in the field. And uh, I'm in kind of a rush to just get mowing here, because I really want to make sure that we're able to... Uh, get the grass drying out here before um, before too much time passes. We don't want to waste our um, dry weather here. So it's really important that we just get this going. I'm not sure this PTO makes a whole lot of sense the way that it's set up, but uh, we're going to go with it. And we're just going to take this right out and uh, get cutting in this uh, back grass field that we have. Um, in reality, this mower is really wide. Um, which is nice for me. Um, I don't want to have to spend a ton of time mowing, but uh, it looks a little out of place on this tractor almost. But that's all right. Um, I really like this uh, older style mower. Um, I actually couldn't see what kind of mower um, 
Clark Farms had. I didn't get a chance to finish going through all of his videos, so uh, we're going for a little bit easy right now and just uh, take the equipment that we think is going to work. Is this going to fit through this gate is the important question. It does look like that's going to be a thing. And uh, since we haven't bought the cows yet, since we don't have anything to feed them with, uh, we're going to go ahead and just leave these gates open for uh, the moment. And our goal is definitely to get um, to get everything set up so that we can start feeding our cows here. So ideally, uh, by the end of the day, we'll have at least grass. Um, and I think in seasons, actually, the cows eat grass um, right out of the pasture throughout the uh, spring and summer months. So I guess, hypothetically, we could go ahead and just buy the cows right now. So... We might actually do that after we do a little bit of mowing here. So let's um, see if I can remember how this mower works. Um, I think if I set it to go over here like so, when I pull ahead, the mower should come alongside me. And then we're going to just take that around... Uh, the field here and kind of see how this works it does look like it's going to leave it in a nice windrow for me so that's going to make uh, life a lot easier we're not going to have to rake all the grass back up um, it's going to save us a step it's probably not quite as realistic though uh, because if I was trying to get this grass to dry out uh, and turn it into hay. I really don't want it um, put into a windrow until after it's had a chance to dry. I'd rather leave it spread out on the field. Um, so we might have to look into that a bit. Also, I appear to be having some horsepower related problems. So let's uh, just double check here what the requirements are in this haybine. This haybine has a 50 horsepower requirement. And our T6 is 110 horsepower. I would expect this thing to uh, not have any trouble pulling this thing and this isn't even that steep of a hill. We may have to get the uh, 7120 out here to uh, pull this if it's going to give us this much trouble. Um, I was just not expecting this kind of trouble. That's for sure. Let's get up on the hill here and see what happens when we get going. We've got a full working speed of 6 miles an hour, so... I would expect to be able to continue at six miles an hour without too many issues. I mean, this is not that crazy of a field. I'm also curious if this field is set up as an actual field or if this is just grass up here. Let's uh, take a look here. Oh, the core part of the field is actually set up as a field, um, which means it needs some fertilizer and lime at some point but uh, for the time being we're all right um, that does mean I could probably figure out how to use a worker at some point on this field because I'm now looking at the size of this field this field is humongous uh, part of me wants to turn this into an arable field and farm it but it is uh, pretty hilly and we do need a fair amount of hay to get our cows going um, I think I'm leaning towards starting with about 30 head of cattle. Um, it sounds like a good number to start with. Uh, I'm not really sure how many uh, how many head Clark Farms runs. Um, that would be an interesting stat if anybody knew. Um, but I think for us, we're going to maybe take one pass around this field and bail up. Um, some grass. I think for us we're going to take 
one pass around this field and then maybe bale up some grass to feed to the cows to get started. I just, I'm, I wish I could remember how um, feed worked for seasons for the cows. If they're just going to eat out of the pasture, do I need to put anything in there to start with? Um, I'm just not sure. And then also, just with this field so big, um, I'm curious how much food 30 cows are going to require. Like, is if I turn this entire field into hay, is that enough um, to get us through the year and the winter? Um, should I be trying to turn some of these into silage bales, probably? Um, so that at some point we can make TMR or just, I think silage even feeds the cows better. Um, the cow menu is here. Um, hay or silage, I guess. So I should be able to store hay bales uh, indefinitely as long as they're in a shed or an enclosure through the winter and seasons, I'm pretty sure. So I guess we'll just go for the hay uh, to start with since uh, silage equipment is going to cost us even more and we just do not have the money right now um, now I'm really kind of uh, concerned that we're going two miles an hour here I think uh, once we get back down to the other corner we're gonna need to switch out to our larger tractor um, I was really expecting uh, this tractor to be able to pull this uh, given that it's more than double the required horsepower um, so that's a bit of a surprise But I think the larger case tractor is definitely going to look uh, more appropriately sized on this. And then um, I have no idea how this thing is going to work with a worker, but uh, maybe we'll uh, set a worker up on the actual field area of this field and see how he does. Um, that'll let us uh, come in and, well, I guess I'm not bailing behind him because I need it to dry out. Hmm, too many things to think about. Well, either way, I can tell you that this is way too slow, and so we're going to need to uh, swap in the larger tractor here once we get back down to the uh, corner of this field. There's a lot of extra area over here that I could probably mow, um, but it's not technically part of the field definition, so I think what I'm going to do is just square this off to the uh, end of the field here. And then uh, we'll go grab the other tractor. Alright, so the little blue tractor couldn't pull it, so we're going to give this a shot. Now, ideally I should probably take the duels off of this thing, but uh, I don't have the, the money for the workshop costs. I don't know if, uh, I don't recall how much that's going to cost, but uh, it looks like we're just going to miss the uh, uncut grass here with the duels, so I'm not too worried about it. We've got uh, plenty of space here. It's just going to run down a little bit more of our uh, grass than I'd like here. But hopefully not to cause too much damage. And this is definitely pulling a lot better here. So we're going to be able to get this job done a little bit faster. Now I'm not uh, overly familiar with the right way to... Uh, approach this job um, 
I'm going to probably take this in a circle around the field until we get to the center. I'm thinking ideally I would go in up and down rows. We're going to do at least two circle passes around this field. And then um, I'm going to decide if I should be going up and down or uh, continue around in a circle. I'm thinking I should be going up and down uh, on these, uh, these grass strips. So I'll have to think about that. Maybe I will just start going up and down. We've got plenty of grass area to be turning around here. Um, I wanted to do one time around just to kind of get a feel for how big the field was and where I wanted to actually um, extend my mowing area to. So I guess I can just keep whipping around um, the way the haybine's designed. Um, I'll just I can flip it back and forth to the opposite sides as I um, take each round. So we'll give that a shot. See how it goes.
so we've been going at this for about a half an hour and we've made only the slightest dent into this field if we come up here and you can see on the the outline of the field on this fertilized uh thing because that's how things work in farm sim after you cut a line of grass so we've got the bulk of uh this field left to go uh, in fact you can see it even better here with the grass turned on so uh, i think we're going to wrap up today's episode here and we're going to keep going on this grass field here uh, maybe in a live stream uh, i'm planning on starting to do some live streams this weekend over the holiday weekend and uh, we might do some of it on discord in the evenings uh, just so that uh, um, i can break it up a little bit and um, you know, it'd be fun to have some lively conversations while we're going uh, at this job. And then next episode, hopefully we'll be done with this grass and we'll see if it dries out and we can make some bales and get our cows going. So with that, that's all for today. Kitterk.